Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. Today is Sunday. I'm just getting home from running a couple errands. I went and got coffee, of course. This is the um, Dunkin' Donuts cake batter latte. I mentioned it in a few vlogs back. If you have not tried it, go and try it. It is so good, but it is really, really sweet. So uh, if you don't like sweet coffee, it's probably not for you. If you like sweet coffee, then you'll love this. It's so good. It's addicting, though. Um, I didn't get any donuts but um, for me, but I did get... They have a new cornbread donut. Josh loves cornbread. So I surprised him. He doesn't really like coffee. Especially not from Dunkin'. He does not like Dunkin' Donuts coffee at all. He's missing out, but um, I did surprise him with donuts, and I got Ronin munchkins because he loves munchkins. He's already mm -hmm. had breakfast, but you could eat donuts, like, all day long, especially if you're a kid. So I went to do that, and then I also went and to Walgreens to pick up my medications. I was out of my like, allergy medication. For today, I don't have too much going on. I need to get the house cleaned up. I vlogged yesterday and I did a haul. And if you guys didn't see that vlog, I'll link it down below. That's um, Monday's vlog. And so everything's still on the island, so I need to get everything put away. I am going to get the house cleaned today as much as I can um, and just prepare for the week ahead. And for dinner, I am making a recipe called Poor Man's Lobster. It is made with cod. It is one of our favorites. Uh, well, Ronan doesn't really care for it. He doesn't really like fish. So he'll probably have chicken. Um, but the Poor Man's lobster, lobster is one of Josh's favorite recipes that I make. So I'm going to be making that for dinner tonight. So make sure to watch this vlog all the way through so that you can see the recipe, see how it turns out, and try it for yourself. It is really, really good. So that's pretty much all that we have going on today. I hope that you enjoyed today's vlog. I hope that you get some motivation and inspiration and enjoy hanging out with us today. Here is the... Cornbread donuts. Doesn't really look like cornbread except when you get close. Then you could like see the cornmeal. Josh doesn't want to be on camera. This I'm not eating this whole thing, but I do want to taste it. Let's taste it. Mmm. Oh, that does taste good. What do you think? Good. Your kind of donut? Yep. Are you impressed with Dunkin' Donuts? Um, at least they have something edible now. He does not care for Dunkin' Donuts. Not like their coffee, their food, donuts, nothing. Um, but I've never seen a cornbread donut, so... And I told him about them when I went through the drive through on my last vlog when I got the um, cake batter latte, I didn't see the sign until like pulling away that they had these. And so since I went today, I was like, oh, I have to get him those donuts. Cause he was like, oh, those sound good. Cause we've never seen them before. And they're actually, that is actually pretty good. I didn't think I was gonna like it. Cause I do love cornbread, especially famous Dave's cornbread. Oh, that's the best cornbread I've ever had. But those are good. All right, now I'm going to Get to cleaning. Get to cleaning this house. Ronan's already begging to go in the pool, so he'll probably be out in the pool a little bit. He did get a new squirt gun from Walmart yesterday, so he's really excited to use that.
on this vine or tree, there are passion fruit growing. It's actually our neighbor's tree behind us, um, but we really like the look of the overgrown vines. And she had said that we can pick the passion fruits whenever we want, once they're ripe. So I think it looks very beautiful and I'm excited to try them. Hopefully we can once they are ripe enough. This part is so embarrassing, but this is what the inside of our trash can and recycle bin look like from inside the house. Um, it has been on my to-do list for a while and I kept putting it off. And I saw my friend Angie from Angie Perry Home. She had posted a video a few days ago about like missed areas in your home that you need to clean. And she had mentioned the trash bins. And so I was like, that's perfect. Gave me the motivation to finally get ours cleaned. <music> started again I'm going to be making a recipe called poor man's lobster I will have the recipe linked in the description box down below so that you guys can try it out for yourselves it is really good and pretty simple to make um, the ingredients that you will need is six six ounce pieces of cod fillets six cups of water one cup of white sugar two tablespoons of salt melted butter to brush fillets and for dipping. I don't usually make extra to dip, but um, I might this time. Half of a lemon, paprika, and lemon pepper seasoning to taste. You'll want to start off by preheating your oven. I set it to 500 degrees, and then later on you will broil the fish. Fill up your pan with the six cups of water, one cup of sugar, two tablespoons of salt, and get that whisked together. And then you're going to add your fillets into the water and you'll wanna make sure that the water completely covers all of the fillets. Let this come to a boil over medium high heat for three to five minutes. Then take a broiler pan or you can just use a cookie sheet with one of these um, cooling racks. Cover it in foil for easier cleanup. You will poke holes into the foil if you're using a cooling rack. That way the juices have somewhere to escape the fish so it doesn't remain all watery and spray the foil with some cooking spray. Now I am going to get some butter melted and then I will remove the fish from the pot and lay it onto the baking sheet. Next, you will brush the fillets with the melted butter and then add your seasoning. You will see me also use garlic powder. This is not in the recipe or instructions, but I like to add that for a little bit extra flavor. You 
we'll put them into the oven and broil them for seven minutes on low until the fillets can flake easily with a fork. I had a few pieces that were thicker, so those ones had to stay in a bit longer. On the side, I am just making these Rana raviolis, they're like mozzarella. I like to add a little bit of Parmesan cheese and mozzarella to the outside and a little bit of garlic powder. And then I also just steamed up some frozen corn to serve along the side. And dinner is done and ready to be served. Don't forget the recipe is linked down below. finished off our night by watching the next episode of American Idol. Thank you all so much for hanging out with us. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. I'll see you all in Friday's video. Bye!